Well, I hope you guys like that uh, Skull Candelabra. That was a quick, easy project. Three days. Haven't done a quick project like that in ages. And I think it turned out fairly good. Uh, now I'm at a loss. I've got two more what I'm calling major projects I need to work on. One is a clown hallway panels. Uh, I've got a few I need to make up, but they need to be repainted. I want to change the theme in that room. So if I'm going to repaint them, I might as well do the repair work on them I need. Or I've got the exit arch and the pillars for the arches and the boxes for the arches that need some work. Uh, I've got some parts ordered on that. Those parts are not in yet, so I can't start that project. So that leaves us with a clown hall. We got the panels in here and washed. Well, actually, we got them washed and then got them in here. Uh, I need to make up four more of those. Six more? Seven more one foot panels. And I need to make my little three inch corner strips as well. Uh, all in all, there's what? One, two, three, four, eight, eight and a half panels to carve. And this is a very simple, basic design, so it won't take long. Uh, you know, I got eight panels I need to carve to get the uh, get this project into paint. Ain't gonna get into paint today. I just don't have the time. It's getting late, but uh, we'll get started on it. I'm hoping week after next we'll have this one done, and then we'll move into the uh, exit arch for the mausoleum. But anyway, that's kind of what we're working on. Uh, like I said, I've got them washed. We've got an account on them. I'm getting ready to do my caulking maintenance on them. I've got, I want to go through here and fill all the screw holes with caulking. Any place there's a nick or a ding, like here, I need to go through and pat. That means just sitting down, going through all, each panel one at a time to get them done. Then once that's done, I can go through this foam, get the new pattern laid out on it, and start carving. Well, I got a ways. I uh, ran out of caulking. I've been doing the two-foot panels that didn't really have any damage to them. Just basically uh, filling in the uh, screw holes here and there. I've got four left to do, five left to do, and I'm out of caulking. That's going to have to wait till Monday uh, when we get back into town. It's going on almost 8 o'clock. I got to go in and get dinner and I got paperwork to do. Uh, so we leave it with all the panels being washed. And almost all the panels with the caulking repairs done. I still got three panels there and the one foot's to do. Plus five more. So probably about half a tube of caulking. And then the caulking will be done. And then we can get into laying out the pattern and carving the new panels. Welcome to your Monday segment, everybody. Uh, we got a real late start out here today. I had a, a crap load of stuff to do today. Uh, we got made it out here about 1 o'clock and got going. Uh, we got the rest of the panels done as far as maintenance. All the holes and stuff have been cocked and what have you. These are now ready for painting. I then switched over to my blanks and we got the pattern laid out on them. Just finished, and I'm getting ready to start carving. Uh, I'm exhausted from the weekend, and it's hot as hell out. We're up in the mid-90s today. Maybe a little hotter than that. So, uh, it's going on about 5 o'clock. I think I'm going to work out here until about dinner, and then after dinner, I don't know if I'm going to come back out or just take the evening off. I haven't decided. Well, there you go. Second panel carved. This is the uh, one I started last night. I got that finished up this morning. This one, I used the stopwatch on my phone and I timed it to see how long it takes to carve one of these panels. And it ended up being 2 hours, 17 minutes, and 2 seconds to carve one panel. I've got 9 to do. It's about 19 hours worth of work, <laughs> give or take. Uh, I was hoping to be into paint tomorrow, sometime. Don't think I'm going to make it. 
Uh, we'll probably have these carved by Thursday, provided I work out here after dinner. If not, we'll have them finished up first part of next week and be in to paint next week. So, I'm not going to push it with the heat out here. Uh, it's hovering right around 89 today, so it's a bit cooler than yesterday, <laughs> which helps. But, uh, even still, I'm pushing it. Been pushing it for the past four or five projects. I think I need to start backing off because I'm not feeling so hot. But uh, anyway, we've got two done. That leaves us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to do, plus a half panel. So I'm going to get started on another one, and we sh should get close to being done with it by dinner. Well, it's Thursday, Thursday night, going on about 8:30. And if you notice, I ain't got no foam panels sitting in here. That's because they're all carved, they're all sanded. I got my one foot and my uh, new corner pieces and stuff all in there. They're all cut. We are officially ready for paint. And with it being 8.30 on Thursday, it's too late to get started on paint. Because we go out of town tomorrow and I got stuff in the house I've got to get done before we go. But I do have one little side project I'm curious about that I want to give a try. Uh, for those of you that have followed our channel for some time, will remember in our photo op that we have out front, we used to have a nine foot tall black cat. And the sucker was literally nine foot tall. Uh, when we were, uh, originally bought it, the fan that came with it lasted, oh, two or three seasons, and then the fan crapped out. Went and bought a replacement fan. It lasted for about a season, two seasons. Then it crapped out, and I said, the hell with it. We stuffed the black cat into a bag, shoved it up in the attic, and it's been sitting there since. And I bought the ghost, uh, the 14-foot tall ghost to replace it. Well, I was thinking, I'd like to see if I can get that cat up and working. I have a spot for it. It's not going in the photo op this year uh, because of the ghost. But I have a spot for it, possibly. I need to get measurements on it, though. You know, uh, you know how much room it needs you know, to set where I want to set it. You know, see if there's enough room. So, we went down, I bought a replacement fan, I need to get it hooked up to the black cat, and I need to blow the cat up and get my measurements to see if it's going to fit where I want to put it. Uh, I kind of know where the black cat is, it's up in my attic in a certain spot, I don't know if I can get to it without having to take half the Halloween stuff down. If that's the case, then this is, I'm going to hold off on it uh, until we get some of the stuff down, and then I'll mess with it. Uh, if I can get it down tonight, I'll get it out here. We'll get it hooked up to the fan there, and then we'll set it up out in the backyard see if it still works. I don't know if it's got moth holes or rat holes or my mice holes in it or not. I don't know what condi type of condition it's in. But we can give it a try and see. Uh, if there isn't another segment covering the black cat after this, and you just come back with me here on Monday and paint painting, it's because I couldn't get to the black cat. If I can't get to the black cat, you'll have another segment on the black cat. So, either way, have a good weekend. Well, the kitty's alive, and like I said, she's nine foot tall. Uh, the head has a motor in it that used to make the head turn side to side. That crapped out years ago, and I've never opened it up to look at it. And she's got some light bulbs out. There's one or two in the body and then a couple in the face. So I got some light bulbs to fix in. And right now I've got one light bulb right there in the neck working. It looks like there's one up in the haunch up there working too. I think there's one or two up in the tail. I know there's three in the face. One for both eyes and the nose. So I'm going to have to replace some light bulbs in it. Now where I want to put this, if you watch the walkthrough video, last year. Uh, I have the dragon up on the big tent, and if you're standing facing the tent, to the left is the photo op and the entrance and what have you where the ghost is. On the far right hand side we have what we call a little bump out. It's four foot by eight foot, and last year we had the crouching cat on it. year before that we had our pumpkin coach on it. 
I want to put this thing on that bump out this year so it's sticking up like the uh, dragon is. In fact, it'll probably be sticking up almost as high as the dragon within a foot of it. Problem is, is the feet. It's about five foot on the back with the feet spread the way they are. And the platform's only four foot, so I can pinch the legs in a bit. The other thing is these tie downs. There wouldn't be room to really mount the tie downs on. Of course, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. But I'm gonna tr we're going to try putting this on that bump out this year, I think. And giving it a shot and seeing what it looks like. If not, I may have to figure out a way of putting it on one of the small tents. And I have a couple ideas on that one, too. It would look interesting sitting up on top of one of the small 10 by 10 tents. It'd be big, that'd be for sure. And I'd be, I'd have room where I could uh, stake it down up there. It just can't go on that photo walk because I have the ghost up there. So I could put the ghost over on the bump out, but this thing takes up a lot of room. It's pretty big. I'll back up a little bit here. Yeah. It's about eight foot from the fan up to the nose. And then nine foot from the ground up to the tip of the tail. Got this, I believe it was at Walgreens, one of the Walgreens over in Seattle years ago. I think it was 2012. 2011, 2012, somewhere in that line. So, I don't know, at least we got her inflating again. Now we just need to get the light bulbs fixed. And then I gotta figure out where I wanna put her. Should be interesting. Anyway, with that, next segment we'll be doing some painting and that will be for me on Monday for you next segment so see you next segment oh well, it's the end of the day on Monday <laughs> I didn't shoot anything today or earlier today we gotta give you a highlight of what we got done today we got quite a bit done we've been out here painting and we got primer coat on everything and this set in here I've gone through and done this stripe, this stripe, and this stripe has had a second coat of white. And then the uh, raised stripes will be a different color. Uh, I still got the other half to do. But it took a while. Uh, we had 100 degrees here today. And I got the first set done after we got done running all our errands. Let it sit for about an hour and a half. Came back out, it was totally dry. Got the second set done. It was time for dinner. Took an hour and a half off for dinner. Came back out, and what the hell? So I had to paint the next stripe. Now it's going on about 9.30. <laughs> we had a late dinner. So uh, overnight these will dry and these will be ready for the uh, other color. I'm gonna replace the green with a blue. I think and uh, that's got to be rolled on so we'll get to that tomorrow after I get the second uh, second half of these done with a stripe okay before I think from the heat I, I figured I better do a segment uh, it was 103 here today I've been out in it since about 8 o'clock this morning and it's 8.30 now <laughs> Uh, we came out, got started working on the second half of the panels. I went through and got the second coat of white on the stripes that were going to stay white. Got that done, took a break to let them dry. Then we came back out here into the shop. I got my roller out and we got that. We started doing the blue, so we're going to blue in white stripes and I got touch-ups on the white I am never very good with rollers I'm a messy painter now I still need to get the blood drips in and 
then I need to attach in the upper part of the blue stripes. I obviously can't roll it because I get blue all over the red, uh, where the red's supposed to go. So I've got to do that by hand. And like I said, came out after dinner, I was going to roll. But I'm so spent from the heat. We had around 100 yesterday, over 100 today. My body's feeling it. I just figured, the hell with it. I'll do the rest of the rolling tomorrow and we'll get all the panels looking like this tomorrow for tonight i'm going to go through and i'm going to finish off the blue i'm going to get the uh, red on and we're going to touch up the white and i know i'm not going to make it that far because i'm moving real slow i'll probably only get maybe four panels done if i'm lucky it takes a bit but we ran into a problem so Ann didn't even think about i didn't think about it until i started painting you know we wanted to do red for the blood white for uh one set of the, one part of the stripes and blue for the other part of the stripes uh with as bright as our clown area is and it is literally the brightest display in the uh in the haunt i wanted more vibrant patterns we figured the blue might turn a little bit more blackish underneath colored light i'm sitting here doing that Red, white, blue. We're going to have patriotic panels. <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking at one right now. Why don't you get a whole bunch in a row? Oh, God. Yeah, we'll zoom in a little bit here. If I can do this right, wrong way. And I'm sorry for the whip flash that might just happen. There we go. There you can see the red a little bit better. But that's what the finished panels look like. So, that's the first one out of 43 two-foots I've got to do. <laughs> and it took about 15, 20 minutes to do it. I'm, like I said, I'm going real slow because of the heat. And like I said, also said tomorrow morning when we get out here, I'll get the second half of the panels out. We'll get them rolled. And then it's just sitting here doing touch-ups, doing the red, doing the blue. And then we'll be pretty much done. Oh. I got the screws over there. I got to get painted too. And that takes all two seconds and they can sit there for a week. <laughs> you know, I don't need to put them away right away. These I need to get put away right away so I can get the next project down. Okay, there you go. Three panels done. Yeah, now you got blue and white lines across the screen, don't you? No, you don't have a monitor problems. <laughs> but I just got done doing this one here. But that is what our clown display is going to look like this year. We'll give it a shot. See what type of feedback we get from the pay patrons and they go through. And we might come back through. And I might redo the uh, blue into something else. Now on our other, the other paint job we had, we had green and white stripes that looked yellow. And what I'd done is I went and tea stained it with some yellow. It just turned the white yellow is all it ended up doing. Not going to do that with this. So, and then we also did some blood splatters. I went and dipped a brush in red paint and just, you know, flicked it on the walls. Not going to do that either, I don't think. I might add some sort of detail to them. I don't know. Won't know until I get all the panels to this stage. Then, me and the set dresser will talk about and figure out what we want to do. But that's down the road. I have a feeling it's going to be the first part of next week before I'm done with this project. Well, happy Thursday, all. <laughs> it only got up to 90 today. Felt good, actually. We've been having anywhere from 100 up to about 105 the last three days. In the last three days, uh, or last two days, I should say, I've been out here about 7 in the morning, 8 in the morning, and working through to about 10 o'clock at night, pushing on these panels. I've got 25 I got done yesterday on the two foots. They're back in the storage, done. And I've been working on the other half. I have two foot panels, the caps, and the one foot. I've been working on. Uh, on the two foot panels, I've got what? One, two, three, four, five. I've got six more to do. I've got 14 caps and 12 one foots. Basically six more panels there. 
Uh, I think I'm going to wait and do them on Monday. Uh, it's almost dinner time, so I'm kind of wrapping it up. And instead, I could probably push it tonight and get everything done except for the caps. I wouldn't have time to have, get the caps done. But after the last couple of days working out in the heat and the fact we're going out of town for work tomorrow, I'm going to call it quits uh, for tonight. And I've been thinking about the project and we're looking at the finished panels here. And I agree with Sue. They look pristine, you know, brand new. They need to be grunged up. And so Ann and I were talking and I was thinking, see if I can get a picture of it here, spray bottle. I was thinking about filling it, you know, part way, a little bit with red, mixing it with water, mixing it up real good, and just coming through and periodically on the panels, do a squirt. And it has some blood drips and stuff going down. That'd help uh, grunge the panels up. Problem is I can only get so many, pa uh, all the panels once I've done that. I want the runs and everything, they have to be done in the standing position. They have to dry in the standing position. I don't have much room. Now, doing that, the blood drips that way also, goes real quick. The dry time, depending on the heat, hour to two hours. So I'd probably be able, you know, it, it, I went, it'd take me several days to get all the panels done. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to hold off on doing the blood drips for right now until we have these installed in the haunt. All the panels will be up, installed, and then I can let Sue Ann do the blood drips, or I can do it. It wouldn't take long. And we'll just do them when they're installed in the haunt. And you'll get a look at them at that point. But... Uh, Right now, like I said, I've only got a little bit left to paint. I'm going to do that on Monday. I see no reason to wait till Monday to do the last clip for the log and say, Hey, here's what they look like. They're done. You just saw what they look like when they're done. You know, you don't need to see the one foot's finished. The one foot's got to look just like those. So I think I'm going to bring the vlog to a close so I can spend the evening downstairs in 63 degree temp and just relax for the evening and I'll edit the vlog and hopefully get it up tonight before we go out of town. If not, you'll be seeing what you'll be watching this on Monday. So, you know, if you're watching it, you know, just after I've uploaded it, it's either Thursday or it's Monday, one of the two. I've got one more project, major project on the docket. That's going to be in the next vlog. We'll cover that in the next vlog. So stay tuned. Oh, and by the way, uh, I'm going to close this out here, but uh, don't click off after I close it off. I've got a little announcement I'm putting in right now. Stay spooky. Stay toxic.